everybody, Pastor Amy here for the Daily Dose on Monday, May 4th. I think it's the 4th, but I'm recording this on Saturday. As you can see, I'm in my ball cap, my t-shirt, sort of my weekend attire. I am, as of today, starting a new term for myself. Some of you have already started using this term. Instead of saying socially distancing, I want to start saying physically distancing. The reason is we are a people of faith who are made in the image of God. And in that way, we are all connected in some way. So when we start to socially distance, we're saying we want to disconnect from other people. And I don't think that's true. I think we all want to be connected in some rhythm, some form, either through reading the words of somebody else, that's a way to connect, either through video conferencing, which is what we do for our uh, prayer times in the evenings, our worship experience is a way to connect us. So it's not that we want you to stay away from people and like not socialize with them. We want you to physically distance and stay that six feet, which is recommended, but we do you want you to connect with us as a church family. There are many ways you can do that. That's either through our uh, prayer time in the evenings, which we are now moving to two days a week, which is Tuesdays and Fridays. And that link will be in the Daily Dose. It'll also be available on our website and also on our Facebook page. So we invite you to connect with us that way. Some of you may want to connect with your small group. You can do that through Zoom. You can reach out to the staff and we can connect you with somebody. There's also ways to connect by watching our worship service. There's also the good old fashioned phone call. Pick up the phone, give us a call. We want to talk to you. You can write cards to people. We have a great care notes ministry as a way to connect. So we're not socially disconnecting. We're simply physically keeping our distance, but we're socially connecting. You know, the very first book in the Bible, Genesis chapter one, reminds us that we're all made in the image of God. Every single one of us, which means there is some piece of us that is a reminder of who God is. When we start to connect those pieces, all of a sudden we get a greater and more beautiful image of who God is. So we invite you to connect, to socially connect, not socially disconnect, but we invite you to continue to physically stay distance from each other to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. We love you, we wanna connect with you. Your staff continues to pray for you. We wanna hear from you. I'm here in Bailey Park. I hear all kinds of noises all around me. It is great to see people, even from a distance, to see dogs out walking, to see people driving, and just being together, even at a distance. We're all made to connect with each other in some form, even our introverts. There's a space for you to sit outside, just to people watch, to read a good book. For those of you who are extroverts, you can yell across the quad to somebody, but please, please, please continue to socially connect, watch your mental health, if you have any concerns at all, this is your invitation to reach out to us. Know that you're not forgotten. You're not alone. We love you. There's motorcycles all around here today. Everybody's out enjoying the weather. Just remember that God loves you and we love you. And I will continue to pray for you. And I look forward to connecting with you, whatever form that looks like. Have a great week, everybody. Take care.